We've all got scars, some on the outside and some on the inside, but we can't be defined by our scars. I've spoken with some extraordinary people about how they've become empowered by their scars. This is I've Got Scars, baby. I got pregnant at 15. Mm. I had my first baby at 16, so there goes my nomination for the Air Force Academy. I really wanted to go the Air, to the Air Force Academy, but in 1987, they were not accepting cadets that were pregnant or who had children at that time. Mm. I think things have changed now. But um, so I kind of threw caution to that and said, all right, I'll just hit it really hard in, in school. And now that I'm pregnant, of course, everyone kept thinking, Tanji Brown pregnant? Oh, man, she could have been. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, yeah. and I remember the teachers, it was a couple of teachers that didn't look like me, they had blonde hair and blue eyes. And they said to me, you need to follow exactly what you said you're going to do. Now, you know, mm-hmm. because they had been talking, you know, you go to ninth mm-hmm. grade, they talk, the 10th grade teachers talk. Mm-hmm. I skipped a year in high school, graduated a year early and said, okay, I'm going to do it. Here I am with this kid on my hip, right? Mm -hmm. Thinking that, okay, I'm going to do it. And failed miserably. Had uh, enrolled in college. And for whatever reason, I was just not settled. And I I still don't understand. Why why didn't you just finish? And it wasn't until many, many years later, I'm now, you know, in college with three children and going to med school. So it's just, yeah, yeah. And after Ty was born, she was born um, with a congenital heart disease. So imagine me at 16 having to go to a hospital that is going to perform open heart surgery on your baby oh. at three months old, you know, and I'm oh, 16 gosh. and I'm like, oh, dear God, what is this? Oh. And my mom gave me this Bible, the living Bible. Mm -hmm. And I read that Bible from cover to cover, cover to cover, cover to cover. And every now and again, I would see something that looked like me in there. Mm -hmm. And I remember these nurses saying to me, you know, you can't stop, right? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at, these ladies didn't know me. I'm yes, ma'am, and then no, ma'am. And she said, this one particular Gloria, Mm -hmm. she said, there are so many little girls, and I say little girls because they're little girls that have babies and they just drop them off at the hospital. She said, but baby, I've seen you every day going into that NICU, holding your baby. And and I see you with your Bible. And, you know, I wasn't doing anything for a show. I was going back to that place that gave me that that foundation and that support, which was the word. I've been reading the word since I was six years old. So I knew that the word worked, you know? Yeah. 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 So that was baby number one. Maybe number two comes at 19, and this time I'm running. I am literally running. I picked up, ran to Texas, Houston, Texas, thinking that, okay, I'm going to live out here. I'm going to do fine. And I wanted to have an abortion Mm. with this baby. Got ready to get on the table back in the the clinic, Mm. and the nurse comes in, and she says to me, I'm so sorry, baby, but you're too far gone. And I'm thinking, oh, dear God, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, what? wow. <laughs> wow. So that was maybe number two. And you're in this small town. And you know you, you know there's something that's in you that your mama said. You know, mm-hmm. I remember asking her at 10, can I go to med school? And her saying to me, do you, asking me rather, do you believe in God? And I said, yes, ma'am. She says, then, Pootie, you can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. So even though I was going through relationship after relationship, trying to find that validation, yeah. it was something in the back of my mind, wow. my heart, that said, you can do anything you put your mind to if you believe in God. Yeah. So yeah. I made up my mind, fast forward, I made up my mind that for the rest of my life, I'm going to live my life and give what I want to receive. So mm-hmm. when you see me smiling, yeah. it's not a fake smile. It's real. When you see me saying, man, I love you so much. I, yeah. I really do because I ask him, 
Would you show me who you are? 